Today we are gonna talk about one of the most underrated players in the world and especially the key to Real Madrid's win in the Champions League and their success under Zinedine Zidane. We are talking about Casemiro. So what he brings to the game is defensively for the most part. He really is protecting the defensive line. He is the perfect protector in front of the defensive line. He is probably the best defensive line protector or number six defensively in the world right now. And he can even build up or set up the game even though he doesn't have to. So if Toni Kroos isn't playing he can take his job and do it pretty good compared to Toni Kroos. He takes the opponent's most important midfielder out of the game and is intelligent enough to take passing lanes away and intercepting the ball in especially on counter attacks. But the best thing about him and where he's the best right now in the world is one on one. He's the best tackler in the world right now. He wins one on one situations on a consistent basis and he's just amazing in tackling. He plays with good physicality and knows when to stop a counter attack with a foul and take the yellow card. When he played with FC Porto, he also showed that he can control a team and the pace of the game and he can especially be dangerous in front of the goal. He also is really good in free kicks and, and shooting the ball outside of the box. Now that's a breakdown of him as a player. Now I will explain why he is so underrated and why he really was the key for Real's Champions League win. He was the missing piece to that team that Zinedine Zidane finally implemented. So Real has one of the best, if not the best midfield duels in the world with Toni Kroos and Luka Modric. Kroos controls the game like no one else does and he's perfect in controlling the pace Modric is doing his magic a little bit more offensive than Kroos. Those two guys are enough, especially with Bale, Benzema and Ronaldo in front of them. You don't necessarily need a James Rodriguez or Isco in front of them in the offensive midfield. Instead of that, Zidane decides to protect the defense and to bring a real defense, defensive midfielder in the game, Casemiro. The reason why people discredit and underrate him is that he doesn't do that much because he's not asked to do that much. He does his job and that's it. He does it brilliantly. His job is to protect the defensive line, win one-on-ones, get the ball or stop the opponent. If he wins the ball, he usually gives it to Kroos or Modric and is letting them do their work. He also, of course, does the dirty work. Last Champions League season he had the second most fouls with 26. You can see the impact of Zidane's decision to focus more on defense with Casemiro than on offense with Isco or James. And you can see it in the stats. Real Madrid conceded only 6 goals on the entire Champions League season. The least amount of goals by any team while having the third most fouls committed. You can see they chose physicality and defense above magic and offense. And Casemiro is the face of that change and the reason for Real Madrid's success, especially under Zinedine Zidane. He will be the future together with Kroos and Modric and that's why I believe they are going to sell James Rodriguez for example because they just don't need him anymore. It's just enough and perfect how they work together and Casemiro now is one of the top players in the world in his job as a number six and Real Madrid really has found their team now. So yeah that's it. That was my breakdown of Casemiro, one of the most underrated players in the world and the key to Real Madrid's success and he will be the key for Real Madrid's success in the future too. And I think he's gonna get way more credit in the future and in the next seasons. That's it, I'm Football Culture. Subscribe, like and comment if you haven't. And see you.